Today is 19 July 2021. Monday, it's already uh, 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Today, I'm going to discuss to you the, uh, the significance and the importance and the beauty of this FMSJR Design Scheme number 8, which I have... Uh, designed, installed as a prototype and which will lead into the resulting uh, scaled up size of 7.5 kilowatt rated capacity. But before that, I have to introduce to you first the various parts and details of this FMS design, FMS GR design scheme number eight. So, as you can see, we have this uh, super capacitor number two, which colored blue. This is one, and super capacitor number one, which is a smaller one here. And we have this uh, charging circuit for uh, the capacitor. This one, this capacitor number two, for charging or initial uh, charging of the super capacitor number two in order to to be integrated to the charge controller and we have the charge controller number two here this one which is supervising controlling and monitoring the operation of the supercapacitor number two here which has a capacitance of 66.6 farads and we have here the second one is the charge controller number one which supervises monitors and controls the operation of this super capacitor number one here modules which has a capacitance of total capacitance of 32.32 farads this one here there are two one is 16.66 farads and the other one 16.66 farads they are connected in parallel, so they have combined total of 32.32 farads capacitance. And then we have here the bypass switch number one for the charge controller number one to control the incoming power energy from the solar panel number one there over there. Those are the solar panels number one and number two. They're the one generating the electrical energy from the light, from sunlight, which as you know, sunlight is a form of energy and it's being converted into electricity by this, the solar panel, PV solar photovoltaic panels, one and two. Each is rated 100 watts, 12 to 18 volts DC capacity output. And they are two, they are connected in parallel, so the total is 200 watts. And then we have here the bypass switch number two, which controls the incoming energy from solar panel number two, as I've said over there. And it coming here, and the output is fed into the charge controller number two, here, which is this one here to the solar output here, solar port, and the battery port, which is represented by supercapacitor, and the load port here. So we have six terminals, typical six terminals, all polarized positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And so this charge controller number two will output will charge to will charge the super capacitor number two here which i've said has a capacitance of 66 parts and so these two super capacitors is the heart of the system which is the heart of the system imposed by the fmsgr design scheme number eight which is acting independently with one another. They are operating in parallel with each other, one after the other, which represents the FMS DCR, 
design, design, scheme number eight. Why number eight? Because it's an offshoot of the FMSDR design scheme number three earlier, designed during March 2021. Now, the FMSDR difference between FMSDR scheme number three is that there's a battery here. Here, please here, which is this one there, over there. This is the battery. The, uh, the old battery which I used in the FMSGR scheme number 3. Which is the 12 volt, 17 ampere hour, 20 hours uh, rated. So I replaced this, that one with this super capacitor now. Proving that the super capacitor can replace the battery. And we have a super capacitor number two, a super capacitor number one, working in tandem with one another, which operates one after the other through the use of the automatic transfer switch or the static transfer switch. It's this one here, static transfer switch, static transfer switch here, static transfer switch is an uh, input of 12 volts and output of 12 volts also as well. So there's in two incoming uh, ports. The DC source port, which is the, represented by the 